Well, I'm here at Finney Avenue and 68th Street. This intersection is one that the county is concerned about. You can see right here, neighbors have even put up a sign warning drivers about all the ice in this area. And King County Metro says it expects conditions like this to get worse and even more widespread tomorrow. The frigid temperatures have brought a familiar sight to this neighborhood. This is very normal, unfortunately. Kristen Anderson says near her house, the road is more like an ice skating rink. <laughs> putting some drivers in a difficult spot. He just couldn't get enough juice going. And then there was a garbage truck that got stuck behind him. With side streets like this, King County Metro was going into emergency mode, according to Sean Hawks. Tonight's going to get really bad, and we're expecting a quarter inch of freezing rain, so that's just about the most treacherous conditions you can imagine. With that weather on the way, the county is activating the emergency snow network. It means a reduction in service from about 160 routes to only 65 core bus routes operating. We do this when the road conditions absolutely demand it. When we have snow and we have ice, we actually move all of our buses to snow routes. So they're going to avoid the biggest hills, and there's a lot of hills around King County. The county has put a warning about the route disruptions on its website, and out here, neighbors are warning each other. It's like pinball. You know, people, cars come down, and they just hit the other cars and just wait till they get to the bottom. Buses, nobody should be out when it's like this. This is ridiculous. She says she's already bracing for tomorrow. This intersection will look way worse. I'm just going to stay here and wait till the warmer temps come and the ice washes away. Now, during this weather, Metro is encouraging people to avoid travel if possible. County says the emergency snow network will be a one day event and will begin 4 a.m. tomorrow morning. Live tonight in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.